My name is Vicki Storich, and I live at Caravan Farm Theatre, which is a, uh, a farm theatre, theatre on a farm, just outside Armstrong, BC. I live and work on the land, so I'm not doing a ton of my work here in the house itself, but I am, uh, I am working just outside the house, so I'm a couple minutes away from being right in my office or right in the thick of rehearsal. It's this interesting sort of gateway that I have here. It can be a private space, but it's also right near where I work and, and where a lot of my community and the community that I build is, is, uh, is right outside the door. I started in theater when I was in high school, but I also cared a great deal about the environment and didn't have a lot of bandwidth to contribute. So I worked in an environmental organization in Calgary for a few years and, and then the opportunity to come here and participate as uh, artistic and environmental programs manager at Caravan Farm Theatre came up, which was melding the two things that I cared the most about. I spent most of my life in Calgary and indeed the, the apartment that I lived in before I moved into the tiny house I had been in that apartment for 19 years and 10 months, so just shy of 20 years. I started to realize it was a two-bedroom apartment, but I didn't use as much space as I had. I, whenever I went into the rooms, it was this particular part of the room that I was using and, and no other part of the room. And, and I started to sort of look at how I lived and how many things I had and how I wanted to use space. And I was interested in tiny homes. But that experience really pushed me to really take a look at it. I was really looking at where do I want to place the energy um, to get financing and uh, put my, my money and time into for the next however many years. Where do I want to live and what do I want to live in? And tiny homes seemed more and more appealing because of that sense of freedom. I was ready for a change. There was something about the connection that I made um, with Heather and then Heather and Kevin. The way that they talk about their homes, and the way that they build, the intention of the design and the intention of, uh, of the creation of space just really resonated for me. And the opportunity to see the Fritz, their original home in Edmonton, and to stay there for a few days was also very helpful because it, it made me see those values in action. It felt right, I felt cared for, and I felt comfortable asking questions. I think that that experience made me feel like I was a part of, very much a part of it before I'd even decided to participate exactly. It's clean, it's beautifully designed, um, it's new, it's brand new, and so everything, everything works well and everything's really, uh, I think, quite stunning. When you approach it, it looks like it's gonna be quite narrow, but it actually feels really big inside, and so that's very common when people say, it's so much bigger than I expected, and also, it's so pretty. I will sometimes describe it as I wanted to in Calgary. If I were to buy something in Calgary, I wanted a sort of new build condo. And I did get a new build condo. It's just on wheels and in the country because it feels that way. It feels more secure than renting would have. And it also feels like a choice that you make to invest in your life. That ability to find wonder and awe with the people and also with the environment that I'm in um, is quality of life. Because I'm in the fresh air and because everything is physical, you know, my body is stronger and, and I just feel healthier and more it's alive. I've also found that um, I've been learning a lot about how much I need and how much space there actually is and how I didn't think I was good at organizing but I'm better than I thought. And so it's been quite a journey, but I'm really pleased that I did it. And I'm very proud of, of the work that went into it because it, it was a lot. And so I'm really excited to see 
how paths open up for me, but also how paths open up for tiny homes across Canada and what that means for where I might be able to make a life in the tiny home.